is kind of how I feel right now. And kind of always, kind of how I always feel. Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I have a watercolor time lapse for you guys. And I'm kind of expanding on the idea that I experimented with in the last video where I used bright colors and I contrasted them with black. I liked how intense and vibrant the colors became and how it almost had a serious vibe. And I like that sort of sensation when you look at a piece of artwork and I wanted to try to incorporate that into a more finished piece. This is sort of along the lines of pushing yourself and trying to get outside of your comfort zone. And I think I did that with this piece, even though it's fairly simple and straightforward. So I hope you guys enjoy the process and I will see you there. So as I briefly mentioned in my introduction, one of the main ways that I actually came up with the concept for this piece was due to the work I have been doing in my sketchbook for my sketchbook Sunday videos. And I have found that taking the time to actually set aside a day that I'm definitely going to work in my sketchbook, even if I haven't done it at any other point throughout the week, has really been extremely useful for my art process and the actual creation of new ideas and concepts. So I mentioned that the colors were one of the things that I developed in my sketchbook, but there was also another thing that had contributed to the concept of this piece, and that was a artist study I did where I took a painting that Picasso had done and I sort of broke it down into its compositional and color elements specifically and I was really trying to focus on how he had managed to create a piece of artwork that when I looked at it I liked it and this was in part for something I am doing over on Skillshare. I already have one class up on Skillshare and you can see the introduction video on my channel. But I was recently interested in creating another class over on that platform and it's going to be about different ways that you can work in your sketchbook and basically fill it up. And artist studies were one of those. And this is something that I have done many times over the years. And I think it's extremely useful when it comes to composition, especially. It really helps to take the time to sit down and look at pieces of artwork that you enjoy and actually think about why you like them. To some extent, this piece was about pushing myself, which is something else I mentioned in the introduction. There are a lot of things that are very different than what I am typically used to working with. There are a lot more bright colors, and I also incorporated some black, which is something that I have recently been trying to avoid in my artwork, but I was recently pulled back into it by a video I had watched in which the artist was talking about how she did not believe that the color black in artwork was a bad thing. And I have been on both sides of the coin before and I just thought it would be fun to experiment with some more harsh contrast and see how it worked out. And overall, I do like the results of the piece that I accomplished while using this technique. Something that I did notice while I was working on this piece is that there were several things that I wanted to improve at and get better at. And I don't think there's anything wrong with doing this. I do sometimes wish that I was able to momentarily forget my 
heavy self-criticism while I'm in the midst of actually creating a piece of artwork and that I could sort of suspend that concept for a little while. But for the most part, I do think it's very important to be able to realize when you have done something that you dislike. And I think it's very beneficial because you know what you want to get better at. So with this piece, I found that the hair and the flowers, even though at one point I would have been happy with the way they turned out, I am sort of at a point where I want to get better and I want to improve. And I was okay with this style of hair for a little while, but I have advanced so much in the past few months even that it's frustrating when you see things staying in the same place. And that's how I feel I am with hair and flowers specifically. And seeing as they are very prominent parts of the artwork that I like to create, I think it would be worthwhile for me to spend some time doing some more studies. And I think you probably will see a little bit more of that in the future, especially with the Sketchbook Sunday videos that I have been releasing and highly enjoying. That's not to say that I don't like the way that this piece turned out though, because I actually really do enjoy the composition of the piece and I really enjoy the colors and just generally the way that it turned out. I just think that there are things that could be done better. I also feel as though I might have overworked her skin just the tiniest little bit where it looks kind of blotchy and not very smooth but at the same time I kind of feel as though it adds a texture to skin that is sort of interesting so I'm kind of conflicted when it comes to the overworking of her skin or if I actually like it. I found myself coming back to this piece a lot after I had already finished or thought I had already finished and I found myself going back in and adding more layers and continuing to work it and I think that is where I ended up getting a little overzealous when it came to her skin but in the end I think it sort of adds to the overall appearance of the theme of the piece and I don't think that there's anything wrong with skin not being flawless because in real life skin isn't flawless. So in the end, I do like the way this piece turned out, but I also think it was a learning process because I was able to actually sit down and realize what I liked and what I didn't like about the piece. And that gives me a good place to move forward from. So expect more of that in the future. This piece is available in my Etsy shop if you liked it. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So normally I have to start off by talking to myself a little bit, just trying to get used to the sound of my own voice when there's no one else in the room. I hear people talking about eggs. Alright, so I'm just going to start shouting to myself, hopefully that works. This. Also, look at how big this cup is, by the way. My sister got this for me for Christmas. It's huge.